Uh, and in what channels do you want to reach young people? Mm -hmm. uh, you can all use them at all sides. <laughs> If you want to reach out to more young people, uh, you want to young people to come to your exhibitions, what do you do? Well, we do a lot of things. We talk to them is probably the most important thing I could say. Actually, physically getting in front of a young person and asking them what they're interested in, looking at their behaviors, actually kind of picking up on signals that are out there in the culture. So, you know, young people. Uh, if you go to a museum on any given day of the week and you actually observe what people are doing in that space, if they're texting their friends, if they're in headphones listening to music, if they're ignoring their families, if they're, if they're just sitting around looking really bored, then it's a great opportunity to sort of look at the behavior that they are already engaged in and, and start extrapolating from that what what might what either that could reveal like if they're texting if they're taking selfies what kinds of experiences can we make that that use that behavior or if they're disengaged why why at that moment are they disengaged and actually talk to them about what why are you so bored right now and what can we do to change that you work uh, with Museum Hack. Can you tell me a little about that? So Museum, I don't work um, with Museum Hack, but I actually know a lot of their principles. They incorporate a lot of the stuff that we do as well because I'm in the, the digital world, and Museum Hack does a lot of uh, it's one-on-one, -on -one, personal uh, gu guided tours. But what they do, they have a great way of being of upending expectations of really being irreverent about the museum experience. So looking at all of those things that we hold really dear that 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 we're quiet in museum spaces and that way maybe we don't talk to each other when you're standing in front of some important painting and we certainly don't laugh and we don't play and we don't gossip and we don't tell all of those like secret stories that you know people on the staff might know if you actually start making content using those kinds of things people are suddenly engaged so museum hack uh, really has created a kind of irreverent um, kind of puncturing the elite balloon and making going to a museum like almost like a flash mob experience where you're all making the experience happen together where you're asking each other questions you're choosing your own your group path through the museum you're reacting to things you have activities to do and it sort of all starts feeling like a party and uh, like a fun uh, way to spend the evening out as entertainment rather than some sort of more stuffy educational experience. Can all subjects and all museums be like that? Uh, entertaining and cool and speak to young people? I think they can. I think the important thing is, I mean, there are many different, obviously, many different institutions with many different missions. And I think that the most important thing that an institution can do is actually gather together young people and talk to them about what they're interested in and then design programming that incorporates that voice. That is how, that's, uh, young people want to participate in the, they want to be co, they want to be collaborators, they want to be participants, they want to actually create meaning for themselves. And I think that the way that you start that is that you talk to them, focus groups, surveys, you tweet out interesting things and then they'll follow you. You know, you create something that's maybe goes viral, you use Snapchat, you use Instagram, you create contests, you create, you use game ideas, like, you know, one of the things that I think could be really fun, I haven't done this, but one of the things that I think could be really fun is that there is this sort of universal experience that young people have, teenagers have, when they're forced to go to a museum as an educational activity, and they feel trapped because they have to do that because it's part of school and they're not allowed to leave and they're and so if you could actually take that feeling of being trapped and make the experience about how to escape that that would upend kind of their it would use their experience but upend their expectations and actually create something that would be really compelling like how do you get out of this museum well maybe you have to learn seven things and solve seven puzzles and then you're allowed to get out and it's the same experience of going through a museum with a group but instead of instead of the feeling of being trapped you're suddenly uh, creating a game out of that does that make sense thank you very much you're welcome Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you can all
Muslims, they're all so <laughs>